All right, and we're back. Mark Trios, and I welcome you yet again to another episode of Chrono Arc. Yesterday, we tried out the twins, and as for all the times I tried them before, it did not go. Uh, it did not go nearly as well for me as their. As their unofficial tearless placement would indicate, I do not know how to use these two. I will find that out at some point in the future, but that future is not today. <clears throat> I've been thinking about all the characters we've tried so far, and uh, we haven't really touched upon Johan yet. Not Julian, Johan. Johan is an interesting character with a very bad matchup to the final boss, so I'm not too sure about using him. However, he might just be pretty okay for now. And I want to try Johan with Sis, because that seems like a combination that could be fun. Well, I don't know exactly... Uh, I don't know if... If, if Dolly works with uh, fixed skills. We will find out shortly. Johan Sis is the combo we'll go for this time. And let's see if it does us any good. We already know what Sis does to a degree. Like, we already know her dolly passive and how that's supposed to work. So that's something I will not have to explain. But as for Johan, we, we have not used him in ever. <clears throat> so I'm gonna be touching on his stuff as well. Protect this ring is something I especially do not need right now. That is uh, crazy how that works, but we are used to that at this rate. I want to have a regular battle before I go for those kind of battles. I'm still not sure, but I think those battles are harder. Until I find out, I'll just go about it this way. As you can see from the start, this is already different. Johan lands a fixed, fixed skill. L lands close, uh, close range shot. And technically, I think we can fix other skills, but I would not recommend that at all. Basically, close range shot, I can use it, then I use a one cost and it's back. Yep. That's how it works. That's how Johan works. And his passive is, uh, his passive ability, well, that's, that's kind of weird because it already worked. So this is actor from, all right, his passive ability is actor from level one, which we just saw. And I've, I'm not, no, we can literally not fix any other skill. Uh, close range shot will always be his only fixed option. Since we already have Johan's uh, fixed ability, let's start with leveling Sis first, so we can get Sis's ability. We get Patch Up, which is a regeneration skill, and Fred of Life, which is an AoE healing. I take the AoE healing for now, and I think I'll take time to move because it's two, uh, it's two skills in one. So now we have both characters' passives, which is already kind of neat. Get one singular soul stone, so we can get another draw skill if we want. Another benefit of today is that I am actually not inebriated, which I was yesterday. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, first we shoot this onto the mage, then we hit the mage again before the regular attack from Sith. Then we heal him to get the Eve doll, we shoot it again. And if we didn't miss, she would have been dead. Oh yeah, expert mode is also pretty bad for him because, well, there's cooldown search, but I can also... Uh, this just means that I kind of start with fight with a little strange shot, I suppose. So it's not that big a deal. It's not about Johan. Hmm. This is a good finishing move for a turn. So I'll use that. 
Uh, burning arrow makes it. Uh, it's basically a burn's burn attack. It also makes his close range shot burn. So having a having some like uh, pain debuffs is always great. It's my favorite kind of debuff. I I love pain debuffs because they're more damage. So let's go with that. Actually, kind of a good setup right now. Let's also get a draw skill. Uh, we get a hasty counter, which is one of my favorites because it because uh, it counters two bosses. All right, we start with this boss then. Uh, not a big fan of this. I need to shoot twice for this to work. One shot, time to move. Second shot, dodges. Uh, strike back. AC counter and regular attack. Bonus damage 9, so far we can go even further beyond. Oh, this, don't, this doesn't have swiftness. Oh, I, I made an oopsie. No matter, he's dead. Gotta watch out for that. But we got the first boss done quite handily. Even though it was for living armor, which is very surprising indeed. <coughs> Johan is pretty good at slaying bosses like that, to be fair. Alright, for our uh for for this part I would love to get another defender or healer. I mean Yeah. <coughs> I might as well just take my favorite character, right? <coughs> Like, like Ironheart is here, but Ironheart is only really good if we have a very, very, very potent healer. We don't have a very, very, very potent healer. We have Sizz. So I might as well just take a Leon. And if we get a healer in, in 2-1, that'll be our comp. And since Leon is my favorite character, I can't go wrong. And we get Retribution. What does Mirage do? Mirage casts... Oh... This is of course on everyone, but I want the retribution. We just quickly turn into a Leon comp. We get a preparation and a relentless swipe. We fix the preparation. And at this point in time, I feel incredibly strong. I don't think the next boss can kill me. No matter who the next boss is, they can't. All right. Our goal until the third, uh, until the boss of this stage is, of course, getting our mana dropped to four. <clears throat> this is always the first goal, and we want to level up everyone to three if we get the ability to do so. All right. Time to get the skill book going. Targeting her, she gets relentless one repose. She gets hook shot. Well, this is not bad, but his best ability has uh, Ignore, Swi uh, Ignore Taunt anyway. Collect Eve is pretty good for setup. But only if Eve already has two stacks. Repose is a single target crit. We are already have Retribution. Which means we don't let any Relentless Swipe because this is also a, an AoE. And I don't have any character who uh, deals pain during my turn. <coughs> Would be very good if we get Haas on 2-1. Uh, we'll take uh, this first. And hope for the best. Uh, we do have a key, so let's break in. Get an Ankh. We had an Ankh until I used the scroll of meters. ID scroll, that's purification scroll, and that's a transfer scroll. We don't have a lifting scroll, which is kind of bad. Well, we do have a lot of money now that we use the uh, 
meet us, bro. So we can just get another another key here. Get the key. And the ID is from this, so we can figure out what this does. Could be a lifting. It's a swiftness. I'm not very happy about that. <coughs> but we get what we get. We get a cubic necklace. Not my favorite. And a few potions, which I kind of want to identify at least one of them. Maybe, maybe two. This needs to be identified because we have two of those. There's the healing potions and I want to actually not identify anything else. We now know that we have two healing potions, which is massive. Especially since we only have a mediocre healer. We have, we have a very aggressive comp uh, composition here. Alright, we still have free mana, so we can't do very much, but... So this could be interesting. We do this, play the counter. She already has that. So, I think she dies? Oh no, Dole doesn't trigger on, on prep. Not that it matters, we just kill her and that's it. <coughs> so yeah, basically our first turn will always be prep and on, on the other turns we we can just go ahead and spam arrows if we need to. Which is pretty cool. We have the luxury to have a, a strategy like that. Okay, we're just getting rich over here. With all the money we are getting. There's a bread altar. And we get our favorite skill, Retribution. In that case, uh, actually we can just activate both of these. Thank you, Accelerate. <laughs> Wait, why did... That was weird. Anyway, not too big. Shoot, burn, and shoot. <clears throat> and that's how this party apparently works. I sacrifice some bread, we can always get good stuff here or bad stuff. We only we we're only able to use it twice this time. That's sad. So I don't know if we got anything good. Ah, uh, it is how it, it is what it is. I know what that does. This should be a lifting scroll at this rate. It was a teleport scroll. No lifting scrolls is kind of a yikes. Because there is a cursed enemy over there. Well, the one, two cursed enemies are not, aren't too bad. And it's a, oh god, it's a stack of hogs. Okay, the good thing is we can use time to move. And... Oh. Okay, I, I did not think that they just killed me like that. Do this. Go for the preparation. So they all attack Sis, eh? I see how it is. Now we've zero cost bad onto there. Okay. One, two. Unfortunately, we do not get to do it again. But since we got strike back on her, that will trigger. I right, use a healing potion on Sis. Took a little bit too much damage here. All right, the uh, Fountain of Oblivion grants us. Huh. 
Mass acceleration is obviously better than the regular one. And courage is okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go for encourage just because I want more draws. And we can increase our mana. And level one of these. I think I wanna level Sizz. That is not really good. Well, I suppose we could take healing wave. Hmm. Generally speaking, we don't have a bad comp. Is there soulstone in here? There is! We can level up Johan again. His Leon already has most skills that she needs. She has two, uh, she has three counter skills and uh, prep. You can concentrate on leveling Johan right now. And we get pretty bad stuff actually. I mean, Illusion Arrow is pretty good. I think we take Illusion Arrow, but only because it puts uh puts his fixed skill to zero cost. Oh yeah, we can give Leon that, and I don't know if I want to give Leon this because this could be cursed. It's not. And this would have been another thing scroll. If it's healing power plus two, I give you but I give that to Sis. That makes her a 15 healing ball, which means her tire to move heals for 8, the threat of life heals for 7, and healing wave heals for 9. Yes, I know, these values are quite bad, but it is what I have. Eve has one good healing spell called uh, Eve God. This Alpha Crease Potion, okay. Energy Drink, okay. Holy Water. Now I know what all the potions I had do on the, uh, of, for the cost of most of my money. I want to increase Leon's health. Now let's just get into it. Alright, it's you, eh? Leon is pretty bad against this boss in particular, but Johan is pretty good against this boss in particular. I can just... Nice. Oh, he did not get armor on the way? Sedge. Alright. This costs zero, remember that. When do you move? Immediately. It doesn't have squirtness, does it? No. She's dead? That's how this party works! Okay, shoot once. Then... Basic protect on you, which you should have used earlier. We don't need that much health, uh, that big of a deal. But hmm. Can we redraw? Nice! This is basically one of our rin cons against the witch. Discarding her, her goddamn uh curses. Does us very good. Okay, this costs one now again. So we can use a basic heal on uh, her. She will buff that, and we're in an ex extremely good spot here. Weakening curse. We can just put that onto Sins. Oh yeah, and we have five mana because we uh, just parried something, which is another thing that's really good for Johan, because Johan is a bit mana hungry here. Okay, let's count on two. I could just set up for. A no, I don't. I don't need parries here because I. 
Uh, I don't need preparation here because preparation doesn't hit for witch. Let's see what I get. A trekking skull. Mm -hmm. In that case. Again, then retribution. She will hit Liam. Liam will kill, which completely resets her turn. And we put the weakening curse onto you. <coughs> very nice, very nice. This is going pretty well. We again have five mana because, well, the witch got witched. But we use Rain of Arrows. Oh, which can shoot this again. We strike back and ignore the Crucifying Curse on. Sis, actually. You can Sis as one of the most health. Rain of Arrows triggers. Dealing 24 damage. So at this point, all I need to do is kill these. Start with a relentless wipe because he will attack. This does not ignore. Huh. Whatever. She will skip her turn because she would uh, she would buff an ally. And now we just kill her. <laughs> yep. I like this party. I do like this party. Lifestone necklace is something we'll give to Leon because Leon is, is our damage mitigation right now. Leon has both survivability and, uh, and a lot of damage if played right. And since I play her a lot, I think I play her right. Not 100% sure of that, but I might just be able to play her correctly. We get a skill boy. I want to use it on him. Which I didn't. Incise makes Eve stronger. And it ignores taunt. I like ignoring taunt. Extended heal is just a pretty good AoE healing skill for one, so I give it to a sis. Those kind of things are the things we need here. The best healing sis can get is from those books. So, yeah. Right. Sonic Blow, I think, was pretty decent. Yeah, this is good when, it look, when close range shot is up. Because <coughs> it adds yet another attack. And it ignores taunt. We could also just get a second preparation, which will be really good, having a preparation hand. And we get a, we and we could get a stunning smite too. This is difficult. Because all of these are great. Like all of these three options. Hindering attacks, okay. It just makes Eve crit hit, but only heals for free, so like blah. Threat of life, we already have one of those, and we have a better healing skill <laughs> already. Even though we have our healing skill, does not have swiftness like Threat of Life. So I wanna go for Thing for Sonic Blow. I think Stunning Smite would have been a smarter decision, but Sonic Blow is what we're gonna take. Alright. We are in a very neat spot. Give this to Leon. Leon has 38 health right now, which of course makes sense with all the stuff I've given her. And yeah, let's just get right into a Blake Hog.
This party feels pretty good, even though Sis is in it. If we get another good healer or something like that in uh, in the next camp session, we might be set. Right, I want to use the swiftness scroll here. Okay, our goal is to get one more mana because we are a very mana hungry comp. To get Lee into level 3 finally. And what is our third goal? Yeah, to defeat the boss, I suppose. Another Swift scroll, huh? There's a cursed enemy right there. I don't think I have a lifting scroll. I don't, but this is the first enemy we can fight. But before we do that, I... Uh, mm, okay, we keep that. We use these because I never use them. That is a very bad scroll, except it removes curses on equipped items. I don't think I can use it to uh, as a lifting scroll on cursed enemies, though. <coughs> what does this do? Oh, that's my favorite scroll. We offer up some bread. We get another ID scroll back. Okay. This is our life. I don't know what that scroll does. But it's an enchanting scroll. Very nice. Two, gr two great scrolls. Right, we're immediately fighting a cursed enemy in a spur. Hmm. So right here, I would love to start with Illusion Arrow, I think. Right? Actually. Why is this not proc? Oh, that is why. You're going to take a lot of damage here. <clears throat> we somehow have to kill this enemy first. So. Oh nice, repose. Yup, that's exactly what I expected to happen. Remember, if something can go wrong, it will go wrong. Okay, uh... Blow here. Now we can Sonic Blow here. He will die from the burn. Just need to kill him, and that should be easy enough. Yep. We revive Leon with a necklace, and then we should be okay. And to fight cursed enemies like that is a real hassle. Especially if I can move three times in one turn. <coughs> Good thing it was not a horse. If it was a horse on, uh, under them. We would have died. All right. Drop down slash what we want here. What do 
we get here? Another HP item. And a health increase potion. Oh, yeah. Everything health related goes on a Leon because I don't plan on recruiting Narhan anytime. All right. Let's redraw this. So I was kind of hoping for something else. Hmm. I don't like how this does not interact well. I mean, it does, but I don't get the mana regain. Right. Also, this doesn't make more taunt. This does, but it's it not enough to kill this. So in this case, I think we go for the repro for the repose play. Didn't think you would deal that little damage. spot I'm currently in. Mainly because we are continuously taking damage. Ooh, extended heal. Be okay, but it isn't. All right, our health situation is really bad right now, though. Like Incredibly bad. I go for another prep. But our health situation may may just be our downfall here. More armor, I suppose. And two potions I don't know what they do. So yeah, our biggest weakness is still our our uh, health pool or our, our, our healing. That goes on a sis easily. No one had effect potion, eh? Med kid. What a sis. We need bread. And we hope to not die. All right, gets a balloon taunt. Attribution, which is nice. I 
this. I end my turn on by accident. So now we lose unnecessarily a lot of health again. Alright. Can you stop attacking the same person 10 times so I cannot even attempt the boss or wall? Jesus Christ. Yeah, I have. I do not have even nearly the health I will need to even fight the next boss. To even attempt it. If it's not the Joker, I will immediately die. Uh, let me enchant some stuff. Do I have still necklace? What does it do now? Armor plus 10, that's pretty neat. Uh, this. More crit chance. Whatever. The vitality scroll and just pray that's not a tank. It is not a tank. Okay, the basic attack. Okay, how does Outer Focus work? Does Outer Focus work? Is the first question here. Uh, we start with. Hasty. I already ate this. But at least we got to uh, get some health back. This will trigger immediately, so I put this on. Who gets to get st stunned here? You'll do that again. <laughs> I'll give you basic attack again. Good thing is only one character is affected by it right now. Okay, this is very good first. will kill her so like haha funny <laughs> actually it'll not kill her unless she attacks her she doesn't great <clears throat> now can I heal her 
Yes, I can. I can win this off Retribution. I hate this. Retribution should kill. Yep. Close one! I really need another healer! <laughs> like, not even a joke, I, I really do need another healer. That is my main priority for this. Best case scenario, get has. Let's see, we get Huzz! Joey is of course the best healer in the game and stuff, but I want Huzz. I don't care about how good Joey is. Right, restraint. Uh, okay, Web of Love. Web of Healing. And another Web of Love. Basically, her numbers are super good, and due to the pain debuff she creates for our characters, our healing gauge expands. And that combination makes her extremely potent. Give and take is okay. It's an AoE heal, if nothing else. Light barrier is pretty bad. Fair of life is pretty bad. Like, look at this. Fair of life. Face healing is 8 after I already give, I gave her some... Uh, plus health, and give and take, it's just so good. Now as a death store, or as a healing debuff, we can also stack our deck ones, which is extremely good if we play that, that with uh, the Sun and Moon, with Heli and Selena. I think the best skill we can take here, though, is this. Alright, hope has been restored. At least a little bit. We got a two healer, one flex, uh, and one main damage dealer comp, which is of course lacking in damage a little bit. But this comp is also really good in longer battles. And Sid is granting us a little bit more damage too, so this should be okay. Definitely looking forward to our visual plan out will pan out. Definitely what we want is increase our mana more in this stage. We want to have a 6 mana when we hit the boss. And let's see how well we do. We can use the cubic necklace and put that onto literally anyone. Uh, not you, not you. So you. More health on healers, never a bad idea. All good, Taz. I still love you. Get another swift, swift scroll going and see what we can do here. Alright, we can start with burning arrow. Actually, we can start with a regular arrow. And then start with burning arrow. Just so we can arrow again. Ah, oh, I didn't use the tracking scope. That was very bad of me. That would have been a lot of crit. I want to use... Uh, Relentless wipe this turn. A bit of healing. I totally forgot about that. Nope, you attack her. And then you die. This is not a rooting spell. Okay, so at least for them. Has, so that's okay. That is fine. It's fine. Enter. <laughs> they get just completely destroyed by the Joker. The, good, the cool thing about the Joker uh, card is, when we get it, it deals 15 damage per uh, per type of debuff we put on the enemy. Which in this comp is at least pain and, uh, and weakening. We can't really go into CC unless we get Stunning Smite. But we get those two, right? 
So we get like 30, 30 ish damage, sometimes less if it's a boss. And it puts two Joker cards in the deck instead of just one. It's shoving itself back and it creates another Joker card. Which against the final boss, if we ever get to see him, this will be insane. Anyway, we don't have a really good skill to use here, so we just go for this. Use this, this will always crit. Uh, then we do this, just so we heal everyone. And he dies. To the burn we have inflicted. So at this stage, uh, we're also, yeah, one of our main goals is also just healing back up. So we use all of our uh, turns to see if we can actually do that sprint deal. Not bad, but costs two. I don't want to identify. I want to get the key. The circle ring could be good. Mine is accuracy. Okay, the circle ring could be really bad. Uh, extended heal. Yeah, this right now has more healing ability, but that's, that's fine. I literally gave two things heal, uh, plus heal to her. Alright, Carrot and Stig was what we wanted to see. This is the fixed skill I usually use on her. But since we already are very fixed skill based here, and we only have one Carrot and Stig, I will not do that. However, this inflicts pain damage, which is something that can help us reduce the cost of Relentless Swipe. If any ally takes pain damage this turn, we can uh, this is, gets reduced by one. So we get get this. We can place this onto Leon. Leon can cast this for one. If we have preparation up and something attacks her, she attacks twice. Once with uh, regular preparation, and once with the relentless wipe, we get two of the tokens that she, that this creates, uh, which is a zero cost healing spell, which we cannot look at right now. But yeah, it's a, it's a zero cost healing spell, so we get a lot of good stuff out of this one thing. Easily, one of my favorite things. You really don't have good equips for very either regular, rare, or uh, I don't know what that is called. Oh, we do have a key. A Tega ring. Give that to to us. And a healing potion. Really helpful right now. We can already heal Le uh, Leon with that. Which means we already, um, already almost have everyone back to full. Okay, somewhere around these parts should be the boss. There it is. The 2-2 two -two boss is one of the bosses I'm most scared of. Because there's a bomber, a bomber thing that is really def difficult. We have Lift Curse, so we don't really care about the curse here. Alright, so what we can do here is first off, redraw the basic attack. Okay, time to move is not the best thing in the world, but not the worst either. Prep. Prep will also always get dull. She'll always cast Fire Wave, no matter what what happens. Strike back to you. Turn off life to you. What? How does this work? I don't know how that works. Honestly, it's pretty based. Okay, we're gonna kill this first. We've already healed back to full. We can't really use this. Uh...
Okay. He endured with his with his resistance. Nice. All right, we're healing. We're burning arrow. You do this, she will die. Very unlucky that the same person is getting attacked twice, but also so meager for. As you can see, these bars, the green bars, extend. Now we can use last resort. And this is really good. <laughs> Turn stick, let's see, work pretty well. Mad kid. We get some more healing off. Can I get an attack? No, we don't. But anyway, she dies. Whatever whatever happens, she dies. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so we need to use our second necklace proc for uh, for Johan. Kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. We don't have a key. All right, we can do nothing else but to go for the boss fight. Okay, we can also level ones. Uh, I want to level here. Yo, wait, no, I don't want to level it. You just forget this skill, and you're you're okay. Actually, I want to level Huz. Domination is a weakness uh, skill, so this has actually quite decent damage. Ignores taunt. <laughs> can be cast twice. Like this is if you want one attack skill on Huz. And we can do that because we have two healers. Use Domination. It's really good. For that purpose, at least. Eat the bread. Uh, Swiftness scroll. Vitality scroll. In here, okay. And... Let's hope for the best. And it's my most hated boss in this game. <clears throat> Auto focus. Okay, this could be interesting. Except we don't really have good skills in our hand. Zero and two. Okay, we can discover the time bomb if we do it right. Healing I can put him put on, so we can get more healing off. We shoot. Arrows. Shoot. Oh no! We discarded the best skill in our hand. That's actually kind of tragic. <coughs> so we get two times. We we get one proc on Leon and one proc on Sis. But <coughs> or that. I don't even know how that worked. Okay, the time one will definitely trigger. Look at that healing! You're probably inflate a balloon. Not worth using a post on that. Do that to me. Yep, you take damage. More stuff. 
Need an arrow. <clears throat> and zero two. Uh, that's damage for our boy. <laughs> I have a feeling that bombs away is a bit random. Anyway. Also, there's another application for uh, for healing wounds. Why do I have two different healing wounds? Mm. Whatever, if we're aware of, we're pretty deep. We're pretty down here. So he'll continuously add more bombs. Time to move and strike back onto you. Ooh, the swipe. Now he'll inflate the blue. Oh, that balloon is pretty good for me. Two, three. I don't have a two or a three, so we don't get that damage now. We do get the damage from a healing wound, but that is okay. I'll tell you that. That is okay. So we have two healers. Stunning smite or drop down. I think I take a stunning. I do have to use this. The mad kid. But then we cannot use that anymore. Hammer slam, this goes under herb, bombs. He gets stunned. Which is the different effect of stunning slash. Yeah. And he casts bombs away, which hits Sizzy. Alright, Med Kid. Uh two and zero is our 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 bad numbers now. We only have four cards left in the deck. I don't know if we already did something with that. Anyway, in size, of course. Mad kind of Leon. This could be so good. Yes, we discarded a time bomb. And we have to use this. This puts her into a bad spot, but gotta deal with that for now. Slash, he attacks Hoops. Of course he attacks that one person he shouldn't. <laughs> can we deal 71 damage in this turn? I say we cannot. But, let's find out. Actually, we might be able to do it. Actually, we might be able to do it. By nature of a burn, we might be able to do it. Come on! I think this is GG. Yep. Have trust in me. We have a very weak house now, but they're two healers. So who fucking cares? This is the weirdest comb I've ever gone for. And I'm kind of glad it works. Alright, we've got not enough money to do this, sadly. If we get pain, uh, if we get pain equals happiness, we're in a great spot.
I can't believe I pulled this. This energy is so well with, with Pelz's kid. Uh, basically, whenever you take pain damage, which is also the damage you, d you take off the uh, effects you get from Whip of Love and Whip of Healing. And I think Current Stick 2? Yeah, Current Stick 2. Uh, you, you heal for half the amount instead of taking damage. So, this is even more healing. And with Huzz, it is really easy to restore people even if their uh, even if their heal healing gauge is non-existent, because Huzz will create that healing uh, healing gauge for you. So let us see if we can actually get to the final area for the first time, at least on uh, on screen. Do we have one regular battle here? We do. Bombs away. <coughs> well, I take that. It is a one cost skill, so I'll probably take that. <coughs> one cost skills are basically the best thing that can happen to me. So this is the, uh, the, the number of free cost skills. I only have one, so it doesn't ma doesn't seem like a good idea to cast it right, right now. Yep, he deals a fuck base ton of damage. I'm alive again. Very difficult place we're in, in right now. And we got Web of Feeling. Great. And that's the second effect for, of the uh, healing thing, of of a uh, of a healing wound. And restraint, which is how's passive. The second effect of healing wound is that um, when we get below zero health, the overheal triggers too. Shackles, which is okay. I think he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, uh, Leon is stunned. So she. I don't think I particularly care. I'm pretty sure he's dead too, but he survives one more turn. So we put way off love on her and call it a day. Bring up the trigger spurs, okay he's dead. Nice. Now she'll take damage, but her healing gauge is higher than the health she had before. Okay, we spend one mana to do that, but that's okay. Then do domination. Do it again. And I hit it. Okay. Uh, Fred of Life, because we do need more healing. Amber Pearls, because it will just kill. It won't. Oh, that was, that was kind of sad. Restraint will kill, though. As you can see, everyone is full health again, except for Haas on half health, because she wasn't inflicted with healing wound for too long. This calm! Pretty resilient. I like it. I do like it. This is an ID scroll. Let's just see what this does. Uh, nah. 
And battle it stuns an enemy, I suppose. Okay, there's something down here. But yeah, something we want to do is increase our max mana again to 7. We are very mana hungry. And actually leveling too high isn't bad strong. Okay, overload is always bad. We loot it because we don't have much in our inventory anyway. But honestly, I'd rather not have it. This is called Epic. Yeah. And we get a Hunter's Ring. What did I do to deserve that? I don't know. Anyway, there's another place here, there's a place here. We can now actually do something. But for any, to do anything, we have to fight. Oh, my most hated enemy, the Wanderer. Restrain the doggo. The Linda Swipe is a very good skill to use here. They will both dodge, but this will uh, eliminate their dodge stuff. And we have a Joker in hand, which is really good. Uh, still not a current stick plus herself, but I can. Meh. Right. Taunt. In size on you. And unfortunately, those who do get a turn. That's a lot of damage, but the healing wound saved him from death's door. And that's something, that's the main reason why I use, uh, why I love to use hers. Because it makes it harder for me to get into death's door via the healing wound. Unless they completely kill my healing, but in that case, what can I do, right? Alright, preparation. Yes. And also yes to this. That was enough for you, just in a different way. Okay, the Joker. <laughs> a fun thing about the Joker is that he will always... I mean, always... Yeah, yeah, whatever. But he will always put himself and another copy of it in the, into the deck. So it's always gonna be great. And since we do have quite consistent ways to put... Uh, Put different kind of weaknesses or stuff on the enemies. This is pretty good. Starring is a pretty decent equipment. Which you do not need. Okay, I did buy a skill book. Well, imitate is not bad. Now if I hear, I think this is the two snowmen? Yep. There's always a two snowmen fight in this stage, so... Kinda easy to... See, okay... Bombs away as a... Definitely... Wrong thing. Okay. We shoot. I don't want this right now. The Renenda swipe is pretty neat. Oh yeah, it doesn't matter what you do, right? Do this. Renenda swipe is a cool count of two. Alright. Drop down slash triggers. 
for normal triggers, but we carry those. And there's no pressure. Snow pressure deals a hell ton of damage. <clears throat> Preparation sounds good. Pretty good. That is indeed pretty good. <laughs> ah, and I can't give up because I had no heal for her. Fuck. And I already used my two revives. Yep, that's a that's a surrender right there. Damn, if this run went so well. Will I ever see a final boss on this stage? I don't know. What I do know is I am incredibly unlucky. Ah, okay. Just miss him. Man, that is that is so painful. Yeah, at this point I will just uh give up the run. Uh I hope you have a you've had a good time. I am a bit salty that Again, I have three super healthy uh, mates, and always it's the one in Death Star. It's like the AI is programmed to always kill me whenever I record, but only when I record. But this doesn't happen off screen. This does not happen off stream, which is very sad because I really want to show you the final boss. But I am apparently the most unlucky person on, uh, on video, so we have to. Sadly, give up the run right here. However, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you next time, when we try again to somehow reach the final boss. Just reach him. I'm not even about defeating him, just reach him. But yeah, see you guys next time, and bye-bye.